Oh, man. There we go. See, I didn't expect you to be on time. Now we can't do our alcohol sponsors because the baby's here. Bye. Well, the, the ba I was telling the baby about my new T-shirt. That's why he's here. I see hell. That's all I yeah, see. Yeah, it says uh, hell froze over. It's oh, there we go. CM Punk T-shirt. Nice. Nice. Yes, hell definitely froze over. Who else? Okay, so we're yeah, waiting definitely on... Definitely dead for him to go back to WWE. Yorick and Merida are coming in. The baby, close your eyes. I don't know if Garrison's I coming in. I to close my eyes. Because close your eyes and cover your ears, the baby. Da baby. Hey, what? he is here. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gonna are, are you gonna be able to stay awake for another game? Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, my uh, my other my other game got canceled. I was supposed to oh. do a uh, group Boom. thing in Star Citizen tonight, <clears throat> and that also canceled. So hell yeah! Oh, so hell yeah! It kind of worked out. It did work out. See, my game's better anyway. It is, it is way game. better. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm addicted. Get my Here ship to another station real quick. Hey, um, just for role play purposes and shit like that. Um, I did ask all of you guys to study your characters, um, because I spent quite a few days going through everyone and, uh, adding some shit and also just studying them myself. And there's a lot of things in there that you, that y'all haven't been using. Was I uh, one of them? Cause I feel like I've yes. used all of my stuff. I feel really? like I've used everything. What am I missing? You, you, there's, there's quite a few. That's why I asked you to study. There's quite a few things in here that all of you have missed. There's like features like... and traits. There's features and traits and normal skills and reactions and just shit that should happen when certain other things happen. A lot of things. And I mean, I know it's a lot. I get that it's a lot. I just want what you guys to know your characters through and through. Bonus action. I don't know why I'm not using that all the time. What's up? Bardic Inspiration. Also, did we get a long rest? Yes, you would have. Okay. Actually, I think I said no at the end of the last you one, but fuck no. it. Take it anyway. Take it anyway. I want my Bardic Inspiration charges back. Hexblade's <laughs> Curse. Alright, was... we need to figure out what kind of fucking wacky Looney Tune time we're in. Oh, the the reason why I said that is because I, I don't uh, don't discuss it. Like, leave it all for RP and surprises. Just among yourselves, basically. I don't really care about the rest of it. But there's a lot of cool things I added to each person. If you guys leave it for the right time, it could be really cool. Did you add anything to me besides armor? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think there was anything to add just yet. Yeah, I have a 21 AC now. Same. I told, I told, um, I don't know if you were, no, you weren't in the call yet. So only Judd knows about Vidar's misfortune. Song of Rest? Vidar's Misfortune? Yeah, you realize that he can't... You know what you added, right? Which I'll one? Tell I'll tell you. If I, can I know what I added to his character, yeah. Damn it, there was one in here, and I can't remember who it was on. But I fucking the the spelling on it was all bullshit. I think it may have been Garrison. What? I need to pull up my backstory. There was something I to... added to yours that was all like Do you spelled understand crap. Now? Oh, hold on, I haven't even looked at it yet. Did you put the duration for that fire shield? I did not. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Yeah, I was just wondering. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Wait, where's uh, uh, I can't yeah. wait for you to tell him to that. Tell him that to his face when he tries it. <laughs> we'll get there so when upset. we get there. <laughs> oh so yes, upset. that's right. You're here needed a duration. Yeah, I liked it as a reaction. Um. Yeah. Then okay. Then if it's that, then it, let's see. Lasts. One round. There we go. Make it simple. Wait, where did I... When did I send you my backstory? Like, right when you made your character? 
Oh, I sent it in the email. I don't think yes. I put it in a Google Doc. No, you sent it right to my email. Okay, I'm going to put that in a Google Doc. I swear to God, there was one. There was one person that I added shit to that I fucking I butchered the spelling on it. Not mine. Apparently not. No, it wasn't mine. It, you you just needed to fix the uh, the duration, and that was it yeah. for mine. Which I which I did. You're good now. Yeah. Wait, nope. That's my school email. Nope, not him. Not him. I didn't add anything to him either because he already has a bunch of shit. I was thinking about this last night. When when I when I do when on my next barbarian level I get another attack. Uh, that is who it is. Hold on, I'm sorry. I just found out who I butchered the spelling on a bunch of shit. I'll get to you in one sec, all right? Mm -hmm. Not trying. I'm not trying to ignore you. I was just oh, trying to find this. Are. You're 100% fine. We are in Anna's talk time. Yeah. I'm just thinking about the game a lot lately because I've gotten so much new shit. Just doing some warp speed. Do, do, do. I actually haven't played that game, Garrison. Is it good? Yes. Oh, Is it life-consuming? Yeah, there we go. No, actually, not really. That, I know all I about like life was, in the games. I feel like it's, it would uh, be life-consuming. It, it's, uh, it uh, like, it's like a learning curve. It's very, like... Uh, Isn't it just uh, No Man's Sky on crack? Whoa. I've never played No Man's Sky, so I don't know. For fucking real, man. It did it again. Hi, guys. Oh my god, hello. there's more than Hi. I was expecting. Oh my god, there's people. There's oh my people. god, hello. Like How dare there be people in my Skype call? <laughs> Rude. I know, what the hell? Yeah, right, I so rock with the hairstyle. I like that. And it's cool. Thank you. Be that. Oh, it's yeah, it's I gotta different. It. It's, uh, I'm used to seeing it. Seeing there it. we Wait, go. I like that, it looks good. Thank you. Hell yeah. Who, who braided uh, uh, it? It's braided uh, really well. Friend's house, and she put dreads in my hair. So. Ah, oh, yeah, they look really good. Nice. Thank you. You're also gonna have to hurt. Them bitches are gonna Ooh. hurt when you take them out. Oh, they're braided in. Oh, okay. So actually, my hair stops right about here. Uh huh. And then it the rest. Mm. Is right. Oh, okay then. That's fine. That's so not they're that bad, braided. Though. So I just have to take the time and effort to braid them out. <laughs> Bonus action. And it's... Yeah, that's the thing. I don't... Yeah, I don't need that in there. There we go. Because it's not that at all. Yep. Merida, I have to go in and re-add your thing because Beyond did the retarded shit again where I clicked something and it went away. Oh, I just let me know when it's turning on. I hate when it fucking does that. Cause now I have to remember everything I put in here. That looks about right. Yep, that's about right. Okay. All right. Oh. Um. Do 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 do. Is anyone else addicted to the stupid piranha plant plant song from the new Mario game? I haven't played it. I want to play it. I also no, want to play Legends about. Arceus, but I still haven't got around to that. Hey, Keegan. Huh? What's up, dude? What is that? Fuck you three times. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Back to backstory. That's a backstory. Oh, you I hope I hope you have a horrible backstory. The lore. The, the lore. lore. So 
So this is the song I'm talking about. If it doesn't, of course, it's gonna play a fucking ten minute commercial, unskippable. Yeah. Hey, what's yeah. this? in my brain just that's my loading music <laughs> so just vision in game that's, that's what's playing in our, in your head that's what i'm yeah there we go it's back merida uh, god damn that was a lot to type out all right no no that was my fault i went in all i had to do was edit one fucking word one spell check, and I click, and it disappears. <laughs> and so I had to rewrite the whole thing. Nice. Um, yeah, back to it. my thing. What? When I level up and I that. get my third attack, if I choose to use... if Okay, sorry, let me say that again. When I get my second attack, if I mm -hmm. choose to use one of my attacks, or both of my, of my actions, can I use... Like an extra action for my if I want to use my, um, sorry for if I want to use my Hellfire Chain since it's technically two actions, since it actually has an extra action already. Is a is a melee attack what you took as your bonus that I gave you guys yes, at level eight? Yes, I, I took I took the the Hellfire Chain. So when I get my two, my my two actions on top of that, will I get a third action to be able to use that Hellfire Chain? So yeah, it actually has an extra. Yeah, thing. like right right now, if you only have one, if you right. only have one at level eight, and I gave I'll be you able a bonus, to use that action, and then and the melee is what you twice. took. Then yeah, once you if you get a second action, it'll be three. Yeah, but that if it, I, okay. It my sucks. question is: is if I don't use that health, do I need to use an action, or is it considered? Do I can I use the two actions for something completely different than use the hellfire chain for like the extra action thing? Or no. Well, the Hellfire Chain is not a bonus action, right? Right. It's no. an action, so yeah, okay. it's just, the Hellfire Chain is just another attack. Right. So you have your single action as a Barbarian at level 8. I gave you your bonus. So mm -hmm. right now, technically, you could do Hellfire Chain and regular attack. Right. Technically, you could do both. Right. So when you get a, a second one because of your class... I'll it be able to three. do regular yeah. attack, regular attack, then Hellfire Chain. Yeah. Awesome. You could do that right, you That's could do what that I right was now. wanting to know. Awesome. Yeah. You could do that right now if you wanted to. Right. You could, if you were successful, regular... if you were successful at grappling them with the whip, you pull them in and hit them with a regular weapon. Okay. What if I do it the other way around? You could do that too. Okay, cool. So, like, run up and hit with a regular weapon and then... Ah, uh, throw a card, then try. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you could do that too. You you guys, that's why I want you guys to study your characters because there's so many features and traits and spells and skills and, and combos that not only you guys could use with your own characters, but you guys could use with each other. Right. There are things called team combos. Right. I'm still waiting and... on Garrison to just like, <laughs> throw me. Well, yeah, you... Not special. No. You used... When you guys went down into the... Um, <laughs> the hideout for the Brotherhood, you as Adam did use combos with Malador. You yeah. cast that spell that took the strength into dis into disadvantage so that he could then use his whip more successfully. That yeah, shit that is allowed. That, that stuff is allowed. And if you guys were to do like a all-out team combo... I think that was Vidar that did that actually, with the, was, the disadvantage on... That yeah, was he, Vidar. He has, that yeah, was, Vidar. Yeah, was his blood. bloated whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that thing. Um, Thanks. but if you guys like, there's, there's six of you, if you guys as a group of six came up with this, like really elaborate, well-played team combo, I would completely, uh, forego the turn rules and let's let you guys do it. Right. The thing that we've done to a coordinated group attack was in the brotherhood hideout. 
That is true. Right. You guys did. Yeah. Yeah, we fucked a lot of them up. Well, yeah, we hey, did. Even though the baby is here. I, I booped two of them to disintegration. I have my peach crown royal. Yes, thank you. Cover your eyes. This is not for baby eyes. <laughs> eye joy. Uh, yeah, not melon. for baby very, eyes. Very this good. time I'm this time I'm mixing this in with Coca Cola. And I have a Kato bar, snow cone ice. It's also very good. Oh. <laughs> I'm peeing into a cup right now. <coughs> if it wasn't for the fact that 4 a.m. comes really early in the morning, <coughs> I would also be drinking. Hey, 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 suck? hey. Mom found the piss drawer. <laughs> Dude, get off my table. No. I don't need you vibrating my camera. That comes later. That's brought to you by Adam and Eve butt plugs, where you can get your official camera butt plug. Yes, your camera butt plug and your Bluetooth vibrating butt plug. <sighs> where you roll a D20 and it goes. You're rolling that 20, pray for your soul. In that one, Man, how, how are we going to do a uh, ghost rider wear shark butt plugs? I don't know. They like do do they come with a heating element? I feel like is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, I feel like they like they like have like fire light up on them. Well, especially for some of the people up in the Midwest, they got to stay warm somehow. Hell yeah, true. He did butt right. Plug. Put keep put it. a put a plug right in that touch hole. It'll keep you warm all night. Judd, did you get a bunch of snow? No, we got no snow. We got See, he rain. Wants snow. And it didn't even freeze. I, I won't tell you that my family that is in the state above you, they got shit faced with snow. Yes. I didn't get yeah. shit. It just rained all day. Yeah, yeah I got four. two I mean, inches of snow. Everyone getting snow. That's what... <laughs> and we're just wet. Yeah. Same. Yeah. That's what she said. And I'm sorry. Tornadoes. What and tornadoes? I don't yes. get tornadoes. We get tornadoes. We get tornado warnings like every other week. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, there's thunder in the sky. Tornado warning. Tornado warning. <laughs> Especially with how low the clouds have been lately. God damn. It's weird. It was like 50 degrees yesterday and then it was 80 degrees today. I know. I was on the firing range during that shit. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Oh, I'm so sorry. F 50 fucking degrees out there in the rain on the firing line trying to yeah, successfully hit a target, feel, hit a target, field dress a weapon, handle live rounds. It was fun. I bet it was fun. That sounds really it, fun. I no, no. It was fun until, like, I'm trying to fucking pull the hammer back and it's not right. going because it's wet yeah. and cold yeah and then i go outside today all prepared for chilly weather and i have to take off like all of my layers because it was humid yep. as shit. yeah 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 it was so i wet. wish it would it's it was cold and and wet it was not warm here at all <laughs> yeah we had awkward humidity today it like, there was condensation everywhere. That's just Florida, though. Well, compared to yesterday, where everyone's wearing fucking down winter jackets and shit like that, and then everyone goes out today expecting it to happen again, and everyone has to go out and tank top and shorts and flip top. Right. Oh, and Yorick. Yes. Did you see all the stuff I added to yours? Yes. <laughs> okay. I so. Am, I am very curious. I specifically want you to go to your uh, actions and click on all and scroll down to underneath light matter and read that part. Sure. Thank you for getting off the stove, mister. But I was never on the stove. I don't know. What the hell? I don't know. 
let, let's not <laughs> let's not let's not talk about the oven again. Vidar's not here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, um, what was the question that was asked of me on TikTok? You said. Yeah. Oh yes, duh. And me. Yeah, we have to go over these questions. We have to go over these now because this is the perfect time to do it. What are you doing? Thank you. You guys reminded me. You're welcome. Because that's what you're that's what you're good for. It's a cat and a box. What do you expect is gonna happen? Okay, so specifically for Garrison, how did you okay, so okay, this question is We've learned recently that your character was turned into a vampire. How did that feel, being that it was against your will? I fe felt violated, um, especially with how it happened. Um, yeah, but it's worked out so far. <laughs> and then I became a vampire. Okay. Yeah. Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> And let me find that other one, because I believe I have one for specifically Yorick. Oh, yes. This one is not for Yorick. This one is for Tyler. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, oh no. So this starts off as... Don't answer. I like Yorick as a character. The, the 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 two different magics and two different personality types seems really interesting, although it seems shockingly close to Octavius and Xenthus. What are the differences? And do you miss Octavius? So it's a two part. And are they the same person? Bum, bum, bum. So what do what are, what are the because both of they they asked this question because both of your characters have two different personality types. So what's the difference between them? And do you miss Octavius? Those are your two. So answer them in whatever order you want. Okay, so starting right off the rip, yes, I do miss Octavius. He um, dreams about his octopus on a daily basis. Yeah. There was a lot of there was a lot of potential with him that could have been um on brain. That could have been discovered. But he was taken from. And biggest difference. Now the biggest differences between the two. Octavius, honestly, started more as just a, a joke character to me. And as I was, as I started playing, he really started growing on me more. And Octavius and Xenthus were scientists. They were very, very knowledgeable in their subject. They were very well-trained, well, well-taught. Well <clears throat> Whereas Yorick, he's got no idea what uh, he's doing, what he's getting into. He's got less knowledge in his area of expertise because we find when you when you find an ancient relic you got to kind of draw your own conclusions as to huh why did they make this or why did they do it this way whereas science is a lot easier to it's a lot easier to handle, manage, and be a little bit more accurate. Fair enough. You guys can widen your camera again if you want to. That did actually work last time. We were just messing with you when, you to when we told you not to. There you go. Let's <laughs> move it. Oh, you've got a Pokeball front and center. All right. Earphones. There we go. When you open it up, it goes, Pika! Okay, so I'm gonna Bluetooth it goes Pikachu. I'm gonna save this question for last because it's for everybody. Gross. I saw one um I saw one that was like uh those rooms must smell horrid. That's the one I was talking about. Oh yeah. 
Yes. Well, actually, my roof smells very good. I use a... Okay, uh, so I, I guess we'll just jump into that one. What does everyone's room smell like is... My room smells like leather and brandy. I have, the, like, the bat, bed, bath, and body works, uh, like, little smelly things. It smells very good in here. And also, I have one of the candles. All right. Um, Judd, what does your room smell like? It doesn't really smell like anything. I mean, I guess sometimes it smells like cat. Because I've got two cats that like to run around in here. All right. Garrison, what does yours smell like? Um, musty and stale beer. Fantastic. <laughs> and Cleopatra? Um, so we play in our dining room. So it's kind of connected to the kitchen. So it always smells like food in here. But we All also... Right. Candles and incense, so. All right. And since we did that one, I will now do this one last. This one is for the baby. Yay. The baby. They didn't, which they didn't call you that. They called you Judd. That's before we called him the baby. <laughs> yes. This is, this is another uh, uh, two-parter. Um, number one. Okay, so it starts off. Uh, we were sorry to see Adam go. <coughs> That's how they started it. Okay. So number one, what's the biggest differences that you can tell as the player between Steven and Adam? Is it easier to play Steven than it was Adam? And um, do you miss Adam? So it's actually a three-part. So I don't really miss Adam all that much. While it was pretty nice being a battle wizard that just couldn't really be hit by much. It kind of felt boring at some times. On occasion. Because you really didn't know how to... You really didn't know how to play him? Well, I mean, did you even know how to play a jar? No, I didn't know how to play a jar either. I didn't even know how to include you. By all accounts, every time you walked into a room... The pot. Every single time you walked into a room, the attention should have been on you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> okay, and what were the other two? Um, so you already answered the do you miss him. What's the biggest differences between Steven and Adam? And I mean, do you find it easier to play Steven? The biggest difference between Steven and Adam is probably like the need to trim your kind mouth. of freedom I have with the backstory. Because with Adam, he and Malador were connected, right. which was fun, but it's nice to, like, be able to think on my own, and I don't have to, like, oh, I want to do this, I gotta run it by Malador first. Gotcha. And then, is it easier to play Steven? Oh, absolutely. I've been playing basically only Warlocks ever since I started playing D&D. So, this... <laughs> it just makes sense. I love Warlocks. Fair enough. All right. And then I have questions for Vidar, but he's not here. Loser. Yeah. Oh, dear. So, so, yes, you guys as a crew are starting to get questions from. Yeah, be viewers. free to ask, ask more questions, guys. That's Please. what we'll I've been them. saying. We'll answer them right here. That's That'll what be I've been saying. Right Best and Thank you guys for reminding me because honestly, I've had these screenshot pictures for a few weeks. <laughs> I just kept forgetting they were in here. So, but yeah, so that is it. We are at 30 minutes. So, I'm going to end this one and we're going to start playing. Is everyone ready to go? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go grab a drink. So you I'm ready. do you, sir. I'm the I'm ready. Working on the backstory. Oh, yeah, that's right. You wanted to add a little more to yours, right? Yeah, because now there's omniscient beings. Yes. Oh, yes, and guys, feel free. Um, try not to add in a whole lot of stuff, but if it makes sense to your character that they would know this or that, um, Judd really wasn't privy to the fact that there were thinkers because Adam wouldn't have known. So I didn't in, either, but Steven would have. Uh, Stephen would, nope. yes. Yeah. Stephen yeah. definitely would because of all of his book research, for one, because of who he is, right. number two. And Yorick would know virtually everything. Um, 
Garrison would know a shitload just because of his time on the battlefield, and so would Malador Vidar. Malador, not really. <laughs> Malador, Malador and Merida. Under a rock. Yeah, Malador and Merida, not so much. She was secluded till they threw her out, and you're just you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which that's, you know, no offense, I'm just saying. No, I'm totally okay with that. That, gotcha. is, that so. is exactly what I'm going for, is I'm just me. <laughs> you're just you. Yep. Um, but yes, so if it would make sense to your character now that we have now that you guys have met one of the thinkers and you know that they're real and you know that it wasn't just bullshit I threw in because I was trying to put a campaign together, um, you can add the knowledge to your backstory if you wish. Just you know, make it make it work. No metagaming shit. Um but yes, and just for the, you know, for the, for the sake of authenticity here, because I'm honest with you guys at every turn, the thinkers were added in before I even built the campaign, because I was trying to think of a way to make things, um, to add that really big gray area in there that I didn't even know about. And I had no fucking idea that any of you would actually meet one. I like the thinkers because it reminds me of the Loki television shows thinkers. I wasn't even expecting to meet a thinker this early. Neither was I. Well, we're us. Come on now. You yeah. Expect everything. But here's the thing is I, I don't. Ex well, no, my motto for you guys is expect nothing. Be ready for anything. Yeah. Because I, I do not expect shit. I come into the campaign and I introduce it and I go, okay, I have, kind of I have two, I have two, I have two set paths. They're not going to take either of them. <laughs> That's how I come into this game yep. every week. I because have two set paths. The right idea, and then and everybody gets kind Fox. of broke but into. You guys have been shocked along the way because it's like you make a decision or you say something or you talk to a person or you make a role. And then I'm like, yeah, I was ready for that. Yes. Because I start with the two and then I'm like, well, it's going <laughs> to lead to this, but then they could talk over here and go this way. And then they start here and go back and like, yeah, I just ex expect nothing. Be ready for anything. Nine and fucking 90% of what I do with you guys is all off the cuff. And I do want to thank you guys, actually, because before I started DMing for you guys, I hadn't DMed in five years. Oh, my God. So every Great. every week that I go with you guys, I actually get better at my craft. So you do great. That's because you of amazing. you guys. That is because of you guys. Yeah, I hadn't I hadn't DMed a game in five years and I hadn't DMed above two people for about seven well, you found your crew. I found my crew. Well, yes, I did find my crew. Because Garrison was a part of my, like, original, original crew. And he's the only one that's left. What? You're you're the only one left out of my original, original crew. So. You showed up on day one, session one, and you're still here. You're the only one left. No, I was session three. You were. That's right. Fuck. Vidar. No, but it's Vidar. Vidar yeah. is my number one. Vidar's that's the, right. Vidar's the OG. Yeah. That's right. Me and Garrison came right. next. Yep. Garrison. Yeah. It was Garrison, Me. Malador, and Octavius. <laughs> yep. yep. And then Merida and um, Adam joined later. And then he, then he shall who not be named popped in yes and then before there was another he shall not be named yes uh two yeah there was several i'm not gonna lie there was several people yeah yeah there was, I, had uh, a whole, I had a whole crew before you guys even got here yeah and then and they then, were completely wiped out and i brought in all of you <laughs> yeah so yeah all right let's get to the game yeah. Do this so, shit. You got your drink. Find some shit out. Yep, well, I got my put, coffee. Put it up. Put okay. it up as an un. Uh, well, what do you have in your coffee? Is it just coffee? Oh, it's just coffee. Oh. oh we got no weak. fun in your cup. Weak, yeah. weak, weak. All right. I'm the one that All does right. the fun in the cup. Hey, hey, hey. No, you're not. Take that. I'm just drinking Mountain Dew. 
<laughs> that, conc that concludes this anal seepage. Peace. <laughs>